So with our checkboxes, we have named all of them notify. And actually, it looks like I missed one at the end here. Don't know how that happened. Uh, so I've got them all as notify. And I've got the, bra uh, the brackets on there that tell me that they're part of an array. And so when they're sent to PHP, PHP has checkbox as an array. So I'm going to go over here and check a couple of these boxes. All right. Now you can see that I have notify is an array. Let's look at that a little bit nicer here. So an array that currently has three things selected. I checked the one hour box, the six hour box, and the 12 hour box. All right. So first of all, if I tried to say um, notify is equal to post notify, I could end up with an error. Now I won't this time because I have check boxes. So I'm hitting refresh, you don't see anything. If I go back and I uncheck those boxes, save my appointment, you'll see notice undefined index notify. That means that I have not actually sent any notify data. So again, in the old one, I have this notify data here, if I view the page source, you'll notice there's no instance of the word notify or the key notify in my post array. So what I want to do is check whether that has been um, set before I use it. So check if your checkboxes have been set at all before trying to use them. All right. So if is set post notify. Then we will assign it to the notify variable. All right. So I'm going to resubmit that exact same thing. And now I don't get the error. All right. And then I'll have an else here and I'll say else echo no uh, notifications have been selected. Now I'll refresh again, continue, and you'll see no notifications have been selected, right? So what is notify? Let's have a closer look at what notify is. Print r notify. So if I refresh now, I don't get that print r because it's inside of this if block, right? So if I refresh, it just says no notifications have been selected, part of the else. So let's select a few. I'll go with 1, 6, and 12 again. Now you can see I get an output here. Or not inspect, whoops. Let's view page source again. I'm close these other views. All right, so you can see that here I get this array that has 1, 6, and 12. I got those because those are the values, 1, 6 and 12 that I have for my checkboxes when I check those um, particular options. So notify itself is an array, which means that we need to traverse through the array or iterate through the array, uh, most commonly known as looping, in order to output things one at a time. Right, And we will uh, do that with a simple for each loop with most arrays. So we're going to say for each notify as um, time because we know that each of these elements represents an amount of time. And we're going to echo and we'll put a dash like we did before and then we'll put in time hours. And let's put a BR as well. So kind of like uh, what we did with the errors. In the errors, we created a string and then put a BR at the end. We're going to do the same thing, but we're doing it in a loop. And so we're doing one at a time. I will refresh this page again with the same data. And now you can see I've got one hours, six hours, and 12 hours. All right. So let's print our notify. This is just for debugging, All right? You don't want to ever have that out there for your users to see. 
output each value of the array. All right. Actually, that's technically the whole for each, so we'll put that up there. Now, the only thing is, is we don't really have a label for that, so let's get a label in there. I'm going to echo before I go into my for each, and I'm going to put in uh, uh, notifications. And then I'll put a BR there as well. All right, so I got notifications one hour, six hours, and 12 hours. So I don't need this uh, printer at the top either. That was also debug data. I'll get rid of that. And now we have a fairly clean output. 